41. Um, first and foremost, let's just reflect a little bit on that game against Spurs because uh, I think there are a lot of positive signs uh, for everyone. Did you enjoy the match? Definitely, yeah. And I think the biggest part was getting the, the fans back in. You know, we had a, I think it was like close to 16, 16, 15,000, which is what we all wanted. You know, we wanted a bit of a full house to get the atmosphere up for the game and make it feel like football's back. And um, it did feel like that. Oh, the team done well. Obviously, we're playing against the high quality opponents. You know, you look at the front four and you have like Champions League finalists, and then it's just what an experience it was. Yeah, really happy with it. Obviously, um, MK Dons didn't look out of place, uh, Warren. Yeah, like I was saying, I think the way we played really helped us. You know, they weren't really expecting which way we played, and it's not like a normal formation or. The style of play we play is unique, um, and that's credit to the staff that we have here. Um, so I think they were kind of a little bit not shocked, but unorganised for it um, for the first, I say half, and then they got the grips of it maybe after that, to which way they press. But I think they showed us a lot of respect, which was good as well. Um, you know, like that we knew after the first twenty minutes, we we were playing out, we stuck to our guns, we stuck to what we were used to. Um, and they showed us some respect by trying to press us and then dropping off and switching her up a bit. So that was good mm. to see. Um, what's it been like for you and the other players um, to almost have another transition, another turnaround of players? Because it's happened probably, well, at least twice, I think, since you've been there, where you players have gone and a whole load of players have come in and now it's happened again. Players have left the club and come in. Um, it seems to be pretty seamless. I mean, on both occasions, it seemed pretty seamless that they didn't seem to cause any problems. Um, the units accepted those players and they've slotted in really nicely. How, how does that happen so smoothly? I think it's obviously like the players that we we keep as well really help. Um, and obviously, you have the staff, the gaffer and Lukey, who walk a lot on the training pitch. You know, we're in every day, walking as hard as we can on it. And it's just about trying to integrate new players in like you said as quickly and smoothly as possible and I think the players helped that a lot including myself and then you have like H who's a leader in the, in the group you have Dean Lewington who's a leader Dave Kasumu you know there's many there's a lot of leaders in it who kind of drive on on the pitch and in training and, um, and try and help that transition and again the analysis guys they really help you know we have unit meetings like you wouldn't believe how many meetings we have on it just about little fine details and which way we can improve on it and what maybe who play who, who play where on which game, which day, you know, so it was all little things to help like just that transition go so smoothly and it has, it has been to be fair, the new lads we brought in have been, they've been, they've been excellent. And it, it seems to me anyway that um, the manager, you know, Russell looks for a certain type of person and I'm not just talking about the football, I'm not just talking about the ability on the pitch, but a certain type of person. Um, I think that's key to what he's building at MK Dons. Am I right? Yeah, definitely, 100%. Like you, you, can't, you need to bring in somebody who's willing to learn, you're not know, willing to strive and to improve and take on on board and not have this big ego that, no, we're not going to play this way and I don't agree with this because maybe some players will come in and say, no, I don't agree with it and I, I don't want to buy into this and that's not what we're looking for we need everybody to buy into it and which have everybody has and the players he's brought in have been very hand-picked and it's it's turned out to be looking like it was a good pre-season for us like like you've seen in the game the Tottenham game like we we stuck to our guns like I said before and we done what we had to do and unfortunately about the result but I think we had a good account with ourselves Well um, I'm glad it was a good pre-season because you've got a very tough first match against a a side who were close to promotion uh, last season, and they faltered at the, towards the end a little bit. But um, you know what a great what a great first game, uh, Bournemouth away. Uh, you know, I, I'd imagine everyone's really looking forward to that. Yeah, it's been a great week, really. You know, you have Premier League opposition, and then you have, like you said, a team who just missed out to go to the Premier League last season. So it's it's, it's football. The fans are back as well, and we're just all happy for these games. You know, it's where we want to be. It's what we're striving to be to play these teams and. Like have her out with them, you know, see what we can do against them. And then, obviously, the following week, just finally for me, the, the following week, the, the the league starts. Do you, as a as a as an individual, and then Warren as a squad, do you set targets? Do you say actually, because the fans do, and us in the media will say, actually, I think you know, MK Dons really should be looking for you know a playoff place this season or whatever. 
do you do that uh, as, a, as an individual and does the squad do that this season? Yeah, definitely. The squad, you know, we went, obviously we went to St. George's Park and we had our meetings and our goals that we that we wanted to hit. Um, realistic goals that we, we felt we should be hitting this season after last season. Um, we think the fans have played a big part in that this year. Me personally, yeah, of course, every footballer needs to set goals. You know, you need to have that personal target for yourself and that will integrate into helping the squad as much as we can. And yeah, like I said, we, we went to St. George, we had our meetings, we had, we had a a big long meeting one of the days we went through everything and we analyzed, analyzed last season and looked at points and things like that as you can imagine and yeah we have, we have our goals we have our targets that the manager and us think that are realistic um, we've got to try and go steam on for them and after after uh, Wednesday um, I don't think me any of the media or any of the fo- you know, footballers will ever take the fans for granted again will they I mean it, it just it was an incredible feeling. Uh, walking into the stadium was was great for me. Just the buzz. Yeah, exactly. insane for me. You know, that's the first time I've played actually in front of the MK Dons fans, and I think that's for some of the new boys as well. It would be it's the most fans I've ever played in in front of. You know, fifteen, sixteen thousand, and it just gives you that extra ten percent. You know, you don't you don't feel like you get tired. You just you have that adrenaline rush constantly, and we needed that, and we will we'll need that this season, hundred percent. Thanks, Ward. Much better than David Kasumi, I would have to say. <laughs> Warren, uh, obviously you suffered an injury at the end of last season and um, quite a serious one. You must be so relieved and so pleased that you've been able to come back so quickly and are already playing regular minutes. Definitely, yeah. I didn't. Obviously, the timing of it wasn't great for me personally because it's a summer and you want to get away and you want to have that mental rest and be with your family and things like that. And, that's not time. The time wasn't great for me personally, but in a football aspect, yeah, definitely it was okay. I missed the last five, six games, but we were kind of mid table then. I didn't really miss like a promotion or a relegation battle, which was obviously perfect for me, even though I'd probably rather the boys be in a promotion battle um, for hell and ever. But yeah, like I said, the injury, it was, it is what it is. It's, it's done now. Um, I'm still doing like little bits to keep on top of it. And yeah, like you said, I, I haven't really missed many games. I think I missed one or two in pre-season. Um, and yeah, I've been just trying to build up my minutes really and hopefully you can keep building this for this game tomorrow. And uh, the, uh, as Luke said earlier, there's been a lot of transition and changeover of players, but the defensive unit, particularly at centre-back, has kind of remained almost untouched. Like yourself, Harry, Dino, like... That must have helped coming back from your injury, having those same guys around you just to kind of really kick on. Yeah, it didn't feel like there was be a much much of a change, you know, because like you said, the personnel was kind of the same. We brought in Aiden Baldwin, who's been amazing. You know, he's been playing left, middle, right in preseason. He's been doing great. He's been here. It feels like he's been here all the time, really. He's he's really integrated well. And like you said, like you have Dino H and, and Julesy who like you know, it, we both know, we all know which way they play, and we know our strengths, and they know our weaknesses, and that's that's the way it goes. You know, we kind of try and complement each other on the pitch and try and work on that, really. <laughs>